Hello Gundam Enthusiasts, this is Gundam Legacy Extreme. Here today to do a review on the 1 to 144 real grade RX 78 2 Gundam. Yeah, I'm just in an extremely lazy mood still. I've y still yet to continue working on Master Grade Unicorn Gundam. I'm sorry, people. I'm just human. I can't help it. I've just been. I've been getting up late a lot recently, and between just. Me, my lazy habit and the fact that I'm hunting for a job still, I have yet to put him together. It's a sad, sad truth. I'm very sorry. Um, but yep, today I've decided to do the review on the real grade, because I still cannot find his finger and I'm just getting sick and tired of waiting. So, let me just stand him upright, take off his shield, take off the hyper bazooka, move his hand out, and as you can see, yes, he is missing his index finger. Uh, that fell off, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a... Yeah, that's going to happen a lot, by the way. Expect during this whole review for me to probably yank my teeth out, because pieces will be falling off. It's an unfortunate fate of this guy. He's beautiful design-wise, everything-wise, but... He suffers from unfortunate design flaws that are that will be the that cause his armor pieces to just fall off because he is made up of hundreds of tiny little plates. Now he does have a whole inner skeleton, but no, I am not going to take him apart so you can see the inner skeleton. But yeah, uh, articulation. He can look up really high. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did do my usual to this kit, i.e. I painted his eyes and whatnot. He looks down forwards and back a little. Head will rotate 360 without an issue. Arms will rotate 360. Go out and up about that far. They rotate below the shoulder. They will bend at the elbow at two points. They bend at the elbow at two points, really nice. Hands will rotate, wiggle, uh, let me switch to this hand. Thumb is on a ball joint, index finger is on a ball joint, uh, and all, th all the hands are on a ball joint. I do not like the design of this hand though. You see how everything is on two ball joints? Well, three ball joints, kind of the thumb. I don't like that. When it was on the tree, the hand was out like that. And then you had to rotate it in. I just wish I wish you could have just put the hand together like a regular master grade. And it does have the hinge joint so it can go in and out a bit. And each finger has a second hinge. Including the thumb. Now, uh damn it, not again. Eh, I knocked off you know what? I'm getting I'm getting tired of these thrusters, so oh yeah. I painted the thruster silver and the inside's red. Um, the cockpit does open, but there's no pilot inside. I'm guessing if I had the core fighter in there, there would be. Waist can rotate. 360. All the skirt armor molded separately and moves independently. Legs will go forwards about that far. Back about that far. In and out. Until you pull it out. Knees are double jointed, and you get the nice panel uh, mo panel movement like uh, with the seed kits. Now, um, I think yeah, it was was it this leg that I did it to by accident? Yep, I'm guessing by the fact that this is probably accidentally glued together that this is the leg. Yep, because. Yeah. You get this panel movement right here to show some of the inner detailing. This leg I accidentally broke when I was bending the inner frame while it was while I was still putting it together. So I glued it back on and it's finally working fine, but unfortunately I glued this panel together and I'm too scared to open it because it might re-break it. Uh, foot. We'll go side to side, forwards and back, and each toe is articulated. I mean and there's three segments, like the version 2.0, so this toe is articulated. 
So yeah, that's it for the articulation. Uh, quick little thing with the colors. Uh, he, he's made of many different colors, actually. You got the blue, the red, what should be yellow eye color, gold, like always, and the white, but you also got this, like, gray, this, like, tan color, this, like, skin tan color, light red on the sides, I don't know why, and light blue on the stomach and on the sides, again, I don't know why. Um, accessories. Uh, starting with the ones on him, you get two beam sabers, you get a set of, if he will stand, you get a set of Master Grade length, clear pink beams that go in, and yes, they are Master Grade length, well, 1-100 length. Here's the 1-100 from the Arios. Except for the peg, they match in length. Now, uh, he doesn't have a peg in his hand, he has a hole in his hand, but he will still hold on to these really well. He would hold on to them better if he had his index finger, but even without his index finger, he still holds on to them pretty well. Other accessories you get, his beam rifle, which has a swinging peg that can swing out on either side. I hate that peg. I hate this peg. I normally never use the peg, but for the fact of, the, but for the fact that his he's missing his index finger, I need to. And come on, don't tell me you're too big for the hole, because I've never again, I've never used the peg because as you see there, it has a hole in the trigger thing and the, has a hole around the trigger, so you just stick the finger, you stick his index finger in there and it's fine. It's molded in two colors, which I find strange, but eh, it's unique. It looks nice. And his thumb came off. But it helped me get it in. But unfortunately now, I'm not going to be able to get the thumb back on without taking it out. But yeah, as you can, as you saw, it goes in there and I'm going to try it one more time. No, screw it. I'm just going to put it in his left hand. Sacri uh, not accurate, I know, but again, without the index finger, I can't do shit. Just loop the index finger in there. Wrap the hand around, and there you go. And it's in there secure. It'll wiggle and stuff, but it ain't gonna fall out until you shake it too much till, so it does fall out. Hyper Bazooka, same thing, though you don't get that. And it's on a little hinge, so it will go up. You can bring his arm up a bit and I knocked the thumb off again, but you see, I didn't do any painting like I did with uh, my Verka, which you guys haven't seen yet, and you will eventually see it, just I have some plans for it. The plans uh, revolve around, you want to know what the plans are I have for it? It revolves around the last figure review I did. But yep, that's all, that's everything for the, oh yeah, I forgot the shield. Um, shield. A really nice looking shield, again, has the same kind of uh, color differentiation thing. It's a slot design, which I kind of don't like, but it's got a handle, so it can hold more secure. Just slot it into two of the holes. I thought I was doing something wrong at first, but nope. So you can have it on there, and it's secure and it ain't going anywhere. And then of course, you can also slot it into the backpack. And, which is very unique, because RX78 never did this, you could straighten out the scope, fold the extra hand in, I mean the extra handle in, and there you have it. And, you can take the beam savers, and store them in here. Unfortunately, you can't store the hyper bazooka. The slot's too big. I mean, its peg is too big for the for the hyper for the uh, holes. I mean, you could probably shave it a bit and get it in there. But then, 
it wouldn't stay on. No, it would stay on his arm. So if you wanted to, you could probably shave that peg. But what that peg is for is for this. You pull this panel up. Oh no, you fold this panel down. Get your thumbnail in there. Pull this other panel up. Like so. Knocked off his front skirt. And then you just stick that in there. Fold these up and you're good. Also, there is a uh, accessory. So you can uh, you plug in there. And that's for the action base. So, but um, so unfortunately, you ha you'll have to either have him holding the hyper bazooka or have no hyper bazooka at all when you have him on an action base. <sighs> so, oh yeah, um, another thing. There is no sticker for the forehead or the back head camera. Those are solid plastic pieces. I like that. And actually, there is no panel lining for the vents, for the for the uh, notches on the mouth. Those are actual made notches. But yep. That's, I think I've gone over, yep, I've gone over everything with the RX-78. With the RX-78. I've been wanting to get this guy done. Like, this was another guy that I've been wanting to get done. But because I couldn't find his uh, index finger, I was just so reluctant. But now I finally knocked another one off that shelf. So, I'm really getting sick and tired of those panels falling off. i got to glue these panels on. But, yep. Um, let's... Yeah. Pretty much all I got left to do on that shelf is Kshatriya, Unicorn Gundam, and my Verka of the RX-78-2. But that's gonna be... You're gonna have to wait on the Verka. That's it. This is Gundam Legacy Extreme, signing off, and this video was longer than I wanted it to be.